Hello first graders, this video is designed to help you understand how to play Jolly Old St. Nicholas on the Mighty Recorder in preparation for your winter concert. On my recorder, hopefully you can see the numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. They're numbered from top on down to 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Some reminders on the recorder, always play with your left hand on top and right hand on the bottom. Your left hand thumb goes by the thumb hole unless otherwise indicated. And your right hand thumb goes underneath your fourth hole. You bring your two wrists together so you play with flat fingers, not curved. We don't want curved fingers, we want flat fingers. So Jolly Old St. Nicholas requires that you know how to play the following five notes on recorder. They are B, A, G, E, and D. So B is played with hole number one and the thumb hole, and it sounds like this. So feel free to pause the video and practice the note B as needed. The next note that you need is the note A. A is hole number one and two, and the thumb hole with your right hand thumb underneath hole number four. A should sound like this. So practice A as needed. The next note that you need is G, hole number one, hole number two, hole number three, and the thumb hole, right hand thumb underneath hole four. G sounds like this. So practice G as needed. The next note is a little bit more tricky because it requires two hands. Hole number one, two, and three, and then hole number four and five, play with your right hand, gives you the note E. E should sound like this. The last note that you need for Jolly Old St. Nicholas is the note D. D looks like this. You can see it's hole number one, two, three, four, five, six, and the thumb hole. D should sound like this. So practice those five notes as needed. The notes that you need for Jolly Old St. Nicholas can be found in the Google Classroom in the stream. They're not in classwork. Um, I removed those because I couldn't get the permissions to transfer. So just look in the stream and you'll be able to see the notes that you need along with the lyric and a video that describes the hand motions for the song that we'll use at the winter concert. So the notes are like this. Jolly Old St. Nicholas has four musical sentences or four musical phrases, same thing. The first musical sentence goes like this. B, 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 A, 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 G, 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 B. And it should sound like this. The second musical phrase goes E, 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 D, D, G, A, G, A, B, A, and it sounds like this. That's the second musical phrase or sentence, same thing. The third musical phrase is just like the first musical phrase. So if you know how to play the first one, you know how to play the third one by now. B, it's like this. So B, 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 A, 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 G, 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 B. And it sounds like this. Okay, so the fourth musical phrase goes, E, 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 D, D, G, A, G, A, B, G. The fourth musical phrase is exactly the same as the second musical phrase, except for in the fourth musical phrase, it lands on the note G. Okay, so it sounds like this. You're welcome to play along. I recorded a pre-recorded piano track. You're welcome to play along with me on your recorders. Here we go. Make sure that you're looking at your Google Classroom so you know what note is coming next.
That's how you play jolly old St. Nicholas. So work on it, and I'll see you in the classroom. Bye-bye.